publishers get a, a chunk of that money, and the writer gets a chunk of the money. Now, the drummer who played on the record on the song, unless he wrote the song, he, he doesn't see any of that money or any of the money that comes from the radio plays. All the writers. So, there's a lot of people in Nashville and uh, famous songwriters that have never stepped on stage in their lives to play a song. They just write songs for other people. Um, Diane Warren's a famous one. She's multi-millionaire ten times over just by writing hit songs for bands like Aerosmith or, you know. I know that uh, Howie Day's Collide was also co-written by the lead singer from Better Than Ezra. And so the lead singer from Better Than Ezra is cashing all these checks for royalties that come in. Then it's a song that he never has sung, you know, live, but he, he has a share of that. Uh, a lot of these artists really have made a great living by writing, not necessarily going on tour and selling tickets and selling t-shirts, but you can do it as a writer, you can get paid that way. The same way goes for if someone recuts your song. I, a song I wrote, I didn't write, a song that I recorded called Joey was not one that I wrote. And I've done a few songs I've recorded that were not mine. And I have to pay a mechanical licensing fee to that writer for every time that I press a CD that I have it manufactured. And what's more, if that song ever gets to radio, if Joey's played on the radio, which it is around here some, I don't get it paid one dime in royalties from that because I didn't write the song and I don't have any, I don't own the publishing. But that writer gets a check. So it's always in your best interest. If someone ever come, come to me and said, hey, we'd love to record Rio, I'd say, have at it, you know. I, that's my song, but I'd love if you record it. I hope it's a big hit for you. Even though it's my song and I'd, I'd prefer it's a big hit for me, I'm, not, I'm happy if someone else makes it a hit because that means I'll continue to get paid and we'll till the end of time. I mean, the Beatles, Paul McCartney still gets a check every time you're riding an elevator and you hear, uh, you know, let it be, come on. The, and every little time, it's so much, so many ways to get paid then. If you have a song, you're fortunate enough to have a song played on Grey's Anatomy or, or the Batman movie soundtrack or something. That's big payday. Um, television and movie licensing is a cool way to, as a musician to, to make some money. And what you're finding is I'm unsigned, I'm independent, I'm not affiliated with a record label whatsoever. And for me, I, that's okay because I, that means I, for every record I sell, instead of getting 80 cents for every $10 CD that a lot of artists get, I'll get uh, you know, $7.50 for every CD I sell. Meaning, meaning it's, it's great to be signed to a big record label, but being by yourself means you, can, you retain more of the ownership and more of the income that comes from it. But where I was going with that was the record labels these days, because of what's happened with the music industry, uh, being upside down, you know, the internet's changed everything. People are going on, you know, LimeWire or back in the day Napster and sharing songs and no one's paying for anything anymore. Or even now when they are paying for something on iTunes, they're saying, uh, you know, I want, I want to download You Found Me by The Fray, but I don't want the other 11 tracks in the record. So they just pay 99 cents, get this one song they want, and they don't buy the whole record. So what, what's happening is the record labels are flipping out because all of a sudden their revenue has been, you know, cutting a third of what it used to be. So they're kind of rethinking how they're, how they're signing deals with artists now. Instead of uh, taking a guy and, and giving him a $400,000 advance and saying, go, go, make, go, go make a record and, and you know, we'll, we'll collect the money, now they're saying, hmm, now, we're not going to give you very much to make the record anymore. And two, when you go out on tour, you don't keep all the money like you used to. We want a little chunk of that tour income. And what's more, we want a, p a percentage of your merchandise sales. For every, you go to Britney Spears' show, you're going to pay 50 bucks for a t-shirt that costs them $8 to make at most, you know. Less than that, probably. Well, the reason they're getting so much more expensive, because Britney still wants to make her money off the t-shirt sales, and the record labels now want a piece of that, too. They want a piece of everything. They want a piece of that licensing if you get your song on the Batman soundtrack. So from a, lot of, a lot of major artists are moving away from dealing with record labels. They're like, hey, you know, even in my shoes, I'm, on the, I'm sold with the biggest retailer in the world, which is iTunes. Yeah, I'm not in the mall at FYE because I'm not signed to a, a, a record deal. But it's cool that, that uh, iTunes has come along you know, and offered people like me a ability to sell their songs. And for every 99 cent song, I still get 72 cents of that. So. It's still a deal for me. I'm at my little check from iTunes every year. It's not big, but it's, it feels like it's getting a check for nothing because I never even had to send any product out. So, uh, but I just feel like it's, I've been lucky to, to uh, come out of this area and still find a way to make this happen. And the, the reason that's been working for me, I think, is that I try to be as, you know, I don't claim to be the most talented musician out there by any stretch, or, you know, it's not necessarily a matter of luck, but what it is is that, you know, I, I do network and, and uh, work hard to utilize the internet, and work on increasing my fan base all the time. Um, doing anything that I can. If a radio station calls me and says, will you come in for an in-store interview, 
even if I don't want to get up at 6 in the morning and go do it <laughs> for the morning show, you got to do it because that's going to only help you. 